the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 350 2 Timothy 1-4 The Second Generation Christians Paul asked Timothy to preach the gospel boldly in season or out of season and carry out the beautiful work of Jesus Christ. First point Addressed to the second generation leaders of the gospel era, Paul wrote to Timothy to succeed his faith, immediately following the great fire of Rome, which spread in AD 64. During the time, Paul was locked in a Roman prison. Paul wrote four letters and then moreover wrote letters to Timothy and Titus in order to teach them about ministry. For a short while afterwards, Paul was temporarily set free, and he used this time to spread the gospel, but all of a sudden, he was taken back into prison upon the emperor's orders. The reason was because of the great fire of Rome in AD 64. Before Paul was martyred, he wrote to Timothy his final will. This letter to Timothy was not only his final letter to Timothy, but it was also a general letter of will to the second generation leaders. The final letter Paul wrote to Timothy is broadly divided into three parts. The first part told Timothy to receive suffering with the gospel. The second part told Timothy to spread the gospel whether it was a good time or a bad time. The third was asking Timothy to quickly come to Rome. Prior to this, Paul had sincerely wanted to take the second generation leaders with him after the trial from the Roman Emperor and to go to Spain, which was considered the ends of the earth, in order to spread the gospel there. However, with the change in circumstances, Paul had to pass his mission unto the second generation. Also now, the second generation leaders had to fight against the Roman Empire's persecution, which was incomparable to the opposition of the Jews. Thus, Paul requested them to be strong in their life of ministry and to implement their roles with full force. Second point. To Timothy, who represented the second generation leaders, Paul told him to accept persecution alongside the gospel. Paul wrote his final letter to Timothy and this letter contained his will. This letter was also written from the perspective of a father to his son in faith. To Timothy, Paul told him to accept persecution alongside the gospel. Paul passed on his first generation faith to Timothy and told him to preserve the gospel of the kingdom of God. Third point, first generation Paul requested to second-generation Timothy to nurture third-generation Christians. Paul, who was a first-generation Christian, requested to Timothy, who was a second-generation Christian, to nurture third-generation Christians. Next, Paul taught Timothy to become a loyal worker for God. In order to do so, he was firstly to know what the truth was and to distinguish between what was right and wrong. Secondly, he was to become a suitable leader to his role. Thirdly, he was to live with a pure and holy heart, will, faith, love, and peace. Fourthly, he was to get rid of debate and to teach with humility. Fourth point, Paul taught Timothy that all standards were decided by the whole Bible. Paul now told Timothy about what was to come and cautioned him. Paul once again warned Timothy to be careful of false teachers. Paul then wrote that persecution was to come. Thus, Paul told Timothy to make the Bible alone his standard, and that the benchmark was all the Bible. Fifth point, 
Paul wished to meet Timothy and Mark for the final time. Paul wrote his final words to Timothy. The first was to make sure to spread the gospel, regardless of whether it was or was not a good time. The second was to always continue with his given role, no matter how severe the persecution became. The third was to always have a hope for eternal glory. The fourth was Paul's desire to see Timothy and Mark for the final time. Paul glorified God and then wrote his final blessings. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.